Hello everyone, Sessler Something, with a name to come somewhere down the line. Feel free to keep on uh, offering your suggestions. Uh, first off, I would like to uh, just address the remarkable reactions to uh, my last something where I talked about getting rid of my game boxes because I didn't have room to put all those boxes up there. Uh, it's just so interesting that this, this small aspect of my own personal life, I think really did kind of touch a nerve and opened up some very interesting discussions. So bravo, I'm gonna try to get in those comments there with you in the future, so uh, look out for me. Anyhow, um, so today I wanted to talk about this and then part of me didn't want to talk about this. Uh, hopefully some of you are aware of uh, something that occurred on Twitter, uh, I think two weekends ago now, uh, number one reasons why, and this was uh, a lot of women who work in the game industry kind of addressing and putting out there their problems as a woman in what is still very much a male dominated industry. And uh, my, my hesitancy has uh, nothing to do with the subject itself, but something that was really highlighted by one of these tweets, which was the statement that uh, when a man like me addresses something like this, they're always considered a white knight and they're lionized. And when a woman does, they're considered trouble or they're stirring the pot or they're airing dirty laundry. And that is um, a painfully true statement. And I really wrestle with the fact that uh, by kind of talking about it, if it could be seen as grandstanding or uh, just really, you know, as, as, as she addressed that I somehow, and unfairly so, uh, um, someone in my position somehow was lauded for these things where I've seen numerous times, far too numerous times, women try to bring these things up and um, it's complaining. Uh, at, at the end of the day, I decided I, I wanted to talk about it because I do have the virtue of having a large audience and I think this is something that isn't addressed much and when it is, the ramifications and the repercussions that happen in particular online are so troubling that uh, I, I just I felt just a little bit more reason to add to the mix uh, is is couldn't hurt. It's not a surprise that uh, female employees at game companies or in other facets of the game industry uh, would be having these experiences. I think what really really was so effective about looking at all the tweets under the hashtag number one reasons why was just to see it in aggregate, and it really is something that kind of just makes you kind of sit back and go, wow, you know, that, that, that really is a problem. And I think to any good person, it's something that isn't acceptable. Now, having said that, there is no quick fix. There is no solution. In my own personal experiences, I think I have been fortunate to work in certain environments that I found to be more tolerant that seem to allow a fair amount of equity in terms of how people were treated there, be it race, be it uh, sexual disposition, or, or, or be it gender. But having said that, I have seen some instances, and in some very acutely so, that have affected people, some of whom were, were very close to me. And it is something that is, I don't think it's endemic just to the game industry, but I think due to the rather lopsided nature of the gender makeup of the game industry, is something that is felt far, far more acutely. What I have become more sensitive to is how it's dealt with online in gaming communities. And I think that this year of 2012 has been particularly poor in that regard. Uh, we had the video that came out of Capcom about the fighting game team where this rather unpleasant glib statement about just accept sexism in the fighting game community and that that's just fine. Of course, there was a reaction to that, but then the counter reaction coming from people who you know, purported to represent the fighting game community that was rather, rather remarkable. Of course, there was also the experience of Miss Sarkeesian who uh, had a Kickstarter to do a video about a topic that I actually found quite interesting, which is the, the trope of how women are used inside of video games, something I find absolutely fascinating. And the backlash, the misogynistic backlash, was um, something that was uh, saddening. Uh, I, I, we've seen this happen in many occasions, but the fact that somebody would go out of their way to make some game where you beat up this young woman's face as some sort of vengeance for having the temerity to discuss a relevant cultural topic that puts games into a larger context. Um, something that was academic uh, is, is disheartening. And obviously, you know, I think it really is encapsulated uh, some of what we see in, in, in these tweets out there. Um, like I said, there's no quick fix. There's, there's no silver bullet that's gonna solve this problem. But I, I, I guess what it really comes back to is in many occasions I have ranted and raved about things I've heard about on Xbox Live or certain videos that were involving uh, Modern Warfare 2 that I found utterly offensive. Um, since I have not been personally offended in this instance, I'm trying to keep myself a little bit more sober-minded as I say this, but 
I still believe the majority of people who work in games journalism, the majority of people who work in the games industry are nice, thoughtful people that do care about having an open environment. And I also think that a lot of people who are on the internet and go to gaming sites on the internet also share those same dispositions. But there is this group of people, a group of people that seem to, through the volume of their nasty comments, give the impression that they also have volume in their numbers. And I still want to believe, because I think it's the only way I can continue doing this job for as long as I have, that that is just a misassumption and that their sound does not equal their numbers. And I just say that if you are in a situation and you see these things happen, there is no reason not to stand up and say, hey, that's unacceptable, especially in the anonymous environment that is the internet. That if we can show these people who I do believe to be on the margins to exist on the margins and try to have the better, stronger, more constructive discussion among those who really would like to participate but are somehow cowed by the nasty trolling rhetoric that you seem to run into all over the place, I, I think we can start to make some inroads. Like I said, this isn't going to be fixed, but I think having some awareness that this is unacceptable, and especially in the game industry, because this is a problem that happens within business, within this country. But in the game industry, I think it's more saddening to myself and a lot of people out there because it's supposed to be a culture of nerds, people who once upon a time really were outcasts, who did not feel accepted, and to somehow, with the rise of nerddom, with the rise of gaming culture becoming so much more ubiquitous and so much more prevalent, that we've kind of abandoned what should be kind of that core sensibility to be accepting and to be inviting, really, really feels contrary to one of the things that made me so into this medium in the first place. And to those of you that really find it so necessary to find that sense of empowerment by being nasty about someone's race, about someone's sexuality, and about somebody's gender, remember, you may be discouraging a creative young mind that may have the next portal, that may write the next Uncharted 2, and because of that, they may decide to go find themselves in an employment situation that is going to be more accepting, and all of us are the ones that don't get to benefit from their dreams. Not to shift gears too egregiously, but uh, obviously I enjoy being able to give my thoughts here on Sass or Something. One of the things that helps make that happen is when you guys subscribe. So please go to youtube.com slash rev3games. You can also subscribe at iTunes, and of course, you can go to revision3.com. All right, those are my thoughts for this week. Let's see what happens in the next seven days.